Okay, so my name is Ro, as you can see on my YouTube channel, my YouTube banner. That's what my official YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter name is. So, yeah, that's me. Her name is Ro. So my name is Getty, and follow me on Instagram at get underscore rude A-E. Because she's rude. I am not rude. Anyways. Pass it back. Basically, what positive vibes is for you? What is it? Um, it's not really anything in specific, but it's just, you know, a little segment of her show that, you know, we do where we just talk about things, whatever, you know, um, it could be story time or just, you know, something positive to encourage you guys or whatever, you know, just. But there's always a lesson learned at the end yeah. of the positive so vibes. So I guess that's the, the positive vibes aspect of it. Yeah, so welcome. So we're gonna get started. Yeah. And today we're doing um, is it? We're, we're doing a story time. A story time topic. Yeah. On why <laughs> do males with girlfriends try to talk to other females? Right. Why? Like I always like I don't understand like what is the deal with guys that have girlfriends and try to talk to other people like you have a whole not even half a girlfriend a whole <laughs> girlfriend a whole girlfriend a whole girlfriend. Like, come on now, what are you doing? Confused. I mean, I just feel like if you're getting into a relationship and you want to feel excitement afterwards, like, come on now. Then what's the point of being in a committed relationship if you want if you want the excitement? You might as well just be a play for the rest of your life. Seriously. Or just for now, because, you know, being in college, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Why are you getting into a relationship for it? There's no point of you getting exactly. into a relationship. Exactly. Exactly. Just chill out. Chillax. Do whatever you want to do. Then when it comes to that time in life, Get into one when you're actually serious. So you want to you want to start the story. So story time. Basically, this story is about a male. Mm -hmm. What's the name of him? His name is Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't switch up the dates. Arnold. Name's Arnold, and he tried to you know talk to. Because she a bad bitch. Because I because I am sometimes. Not really. Not really. Uh, you know, I don't really think anything. Let's continue. Right. So I met this guy at the gym. It's crazy. I really go to the gym. <laughs> so, so the one time she went to the gym, she met Arnold, right? <laughs> Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. And the thing is, Arnold didn't see me. Um, I saw Arnold first. I was like, Yo, Arnold got nice teeth. Son, got really nice teeth. And my friend was like, Go talk to him. I'm like, What? I'm not about to talk to him. Like, he got nice teeth. Like, that's it. She's like, Nah, I really feel like you should talk to him. Stop being a baby. I'm like, No. She's like, I'm going to talk to him for you. I was like, Okay, sis, go do whatever you want to do. So, you know, I got on the machine, you know. I think it was on the floor doing some floor exercises. You know me. Anyway, so Arnold came over to me and I was like, I got like. Wait, wait, after your friend? After my okay. friend talked to him. Like, he came over and he was like, Hey. And I was like, Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Your friend said that you think I'm cute. I was like, I did not say that. So it said Arnold has nice teeth. That was his game? That was his game. Mm. Mind you, homeboy sat down, had a 50 pound weight in his hand, doing this the whole time. Cheesing, licking his lips like. He's a show off. You know, all this. A stuff. show off. Show you know, off. the main things I ask when I meet like males is like, okay, what's your age? What year are you in? Because you know, we're in school. And what's your major? Gotta ask. Oh, and also, are you commuter or do you live on campus? Mm -hmm. So I was asking him these questions, he was like, oh, cause, cause, you know, I guess he was, his game was to ask me first and then for him to see like, mm -hmm. what I was saying. Right, right, right. So I told him like, oh, I'm a psych major. Uh, he was like, oh, I'm a commuter, I'm a bio major. When you say bio major, you know, caught me. Like, wow, okay, you're smart. And he also was like, I, I'm a commuter, have a nice car. Hello? He, yeah. he put that out there? Yeah, it's nice. Nah, see, right then and there, you should have known it was a rap. Like, why he so cocky? I'm like, yes, he's 
Yeah. Okay, but he what has to be the car. And I have a nice car. I don't know, but she's a sports mom. Gertrude was in it. That was cute. It was cute. But, like, that part is, like, I, I, you ain't never tell me that part. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not offended, you feel me? But it's like, like, so when someone introduces themselves, like, who, like, we were in conversation, dude. No, you said you said when he was telling you about himself, he he had he had to put out there that oh yeah, and I have a nice car. But his car is nice. Okay, and so what? Anywho, so let me see that for myself. Let's continue the story. That out there. Let's continue. So Arnold was like, oh yeah, I'm about to turn 21, and I'm a sophomore. They I call I call back. Mm -hmm. I don't do people younger than me. Something I just don't do. Something I'm not into. I mean, but who? Making such a big deal and everything. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, I'm not. Cause I don't like people who are younger than me at all. Like I don't think it's a bad thing. They don't even need like any specific guys. reason. Just do it. Okay. Anywho, so he was like, oh, you want to go out to eat? I was like, oh, I too. I hate dates. But I was just like, you know, Arnold look cute. Might as well give Arnold a chance. Uh huh. The week after that. Wait, you said Ronald or Arnold? Arnold! Okay. <laughs> Anyways, the week after that, what happened? He took me out to PF Chang's in Hackensack, New Jersey. Okay. I was like, oh, I never been, I never been to uh, PF Chang's. So let's see what it's about. It was all cute, got little candles, little dark in there. He ordered my food for me. I'm like, okay, sis. He was like, why are you ordering water? I'm just like, oh, hell, like water. He was like, no. Nah, we trying to be healthy out here. Like, I can see, I, I got my water, a diffuser. There's a little fruit in there, a little detox. It's good for you. <laughs> Anywho, so, yeah, he was just like, or, order like a real, like a soda or some juice. I was like, nah, it's good. So, you know, he paid and everything. Because he got money. Because he got money. And. After that, dropped me back off at campus, and then he was like, "Oh, let me come upstairs." And I was like, "How you gonna invite yourself?" And I was like, "You know, I'm okay, whatever he did. Let's just go upstairs." He wasn't in my room though, mm -hmm. <laughs> so he was in the little living room area, mm -hmm. cause you know, yeah. And like, we was chilling here, we was talking, and I'm cool. Bam, we went home. Great first day. Anywho, so a lot of those days happened. Took me out to eat. Around random days and stuff like that. Like, it was cool. Like he's a nice guy. Like he'll talk to me. Like he'll text, FaceTime, do homework together. We couldn't really do homework together because he looked too cute and like I would get distracted so quick. It's really bad, girl. It was really bad. Girl, girl, girl. Really bad. Mm -hmm. Anywho, so you know throughout the relation, it's not really a relationship. The situation, the situation, shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I would, I would always ask her, oh, do you have a girlfriend? I'm so fat. Mm -hmm. You do. I would ask like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? And he would be like, no, why would I have a girlfriend? Why, why would I have a girlfriend? I'm like, oh, okay. And then I said, ask your brother, does your brother talk to anybody? He was like, no, he doesn't. I was like, are you sure? And he was like, no, my brother doesn't talk to anybody. Mind you, he's nine, so he's kind of cute. But you know, you can train these kids to lie right. to you. Could. So D-Day. D-Day comes around. It was what? Thursday before we went on break. It was like March something, like ninth or mm -hmm. something like that. And he told me, I already got some information that he had a girlfriend. And I was like, you're lying. He's like, nah, he has a girlfriend. I was like, sips well, water. Yeah. So I was like, let me ask him again. Just, just to find out. Let me ask him again. So I asked him again. And <coughs> he was like, no, I don't. Who's, who's telling you this? Was he defensive with it? Yeah, he was just like, oh, who's telling you this? I'm just like, no, I'm just asking a question. Like, do you have a girlfriend? And he was just like, no. I'm like, all right, cool. So I, I went back to the store since he was like, no, like, he really has a girlfriend. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So what happened? Um, yeah, the third, those that Thursday before we went on break. And he came to an event at a school. And, I, and he was telling me, like, oh, yeah, I'm about to go to upstate. New York to chill with my boys. It's weird. Nothing to do in upstate New York. What are you doing there? What are you chilling? What are you what are you doing? Ain't no resorts up there. What are you doing? So he was like, Oh yeah, I'm chilling with my boys. I'm leaving right right after this. I'm trying to be out. But I, mind you, where does his go his girl go to school? His girl go to school upstate New York. Okay, continue the story. Okay. So anywho. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was like, okay, like, right. Addy, do you hear him? Like, I was talking to Addy because I needed the information too. I was like, Addy, do you hear him? He's going to upstate New York to, to you know, to chill with his boys. Addy was like, really? Upstate? And she, <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah. And Addy was like, mm hmm, okay. So, so confident, like. Yeah, so confident. Oh my God. So he was like, oh, when you come back, you know, he told me, like, oh, yeah, I'm coming back on this day and I'll take you to New York and go shopping. Blah, blah. Cool, bet. Two. This guy has money. <laughs> Anywho, Tuesday comes around. I was like, it's a snowstorm. I ain't going nowhere. Okay, I'm staying home. Um, what happened? I called him and didn't answer. Unusual. He just picks up or calls back quick after that. He did it. Called him back at 6 o'clock. He answered. Texted him. What's up? He was like, oh, what happened? He didn't answer the phone. What you mean? What happened? He called me. He started going off. Like, he started yelling on the phone. He was like, bro, that's me. <laughs> he said, what are we? What are we? Like, what you mean? Like, but first of all, why he coming crazy? That's what I'm saying. Like, why are you yelling at me? Like, why are you yelling? Disrespectful. Why are you yelling? And he was like, what are you? No, seriously, what are we? Are we friends? Are we in a relationship? What? And I was like, um, you know. Like, we had a whole conversation about this. Why are you asking me? He was just like, no, nah, what are we, what are we? And then I was like, chilling. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I said, that's what I, I was like, we, yeah, we're just chilling, that's mm -hmm. it. And then he started laughing. Look, Cause um, he thinks everything like legit, he laughs at everything. When I say everything, he laughs at everything. I mean, it's cute, you know, you feel because he has a nice smile, yeah, but he does. like, can you be serious for once? No, seriously, okay. Anyways, so, then, then I heard a girl in the back, cause my he was in the car. I heard a girl in the back, is that your girlfriend? Is that your girlfriend? Is that your girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, hung up. He hung up the phone. So I was like. <laughs> That's probably why he was yelling in the first place. Cause he wanted to show off like. That's what I'm saying. And I was just like, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. So what happened? So I was like, oh no, nah, like you're blocked. Like what am I do? I told him, oh, who's my number? And he was like, text me back. Nah, and then I blocked him because like, yeah, like you're done. Like what am I doing with you? But I was gonna talk to him. Got back to school. Like that was like what a week later. So um, after that, I have found out. Like after that, he had blocked me too, and he blocked me on Instagram and on Snapchat. And I'm just like, wow, a guy never blocked me before. It's kind of weird. And this is the first time I told him to lose my number. So it's just like. You actually lost it this time, like dang, that, that sucks. Not really, just because he was cute. This guy had no substance. He was just cute. That's that's legit it. Cause she a savage. She got all the hoes. Oh my god, don't say that. I'm sorry. I don't. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, there's a, the Wednesday we got back to school. Cause after he blocked me, honestly, I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but actually, let's rewind. I lied. And um, I was gonna talk to him on Thursday because I knew the only class he had was on Thursday. Like the only class I actually knew of that he took here was on six. It was on Thursdays, yeah, six, six to nine. nine. So like I was gonna go and talk to him during that time. So Addie had texted me Wednesday and was like, "Oh yeah, Arnold is on campus." And I'm just like, "Like okay, he goes here. <laughs> of course he's gonna be on campus." She's like, "No, no, no." Arnold is here with his girlfriend. girlfriend. I was like, I was like, oh, right, girlfriend. Okay, so you know, I was. Like, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> so this guy had the nerve. The nerve. The nerve. The nerve. One, you say you don't have a girlfriend. One. Two, you bring her to campus. Yeah. So like, what did you think was gonna think if, if you brought some girl to campus? Like, thank you. Come on now. First of all, she don't even go here. She don't go here. She and upstate New York. And I know her personally. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it don't add up. You feel it me? It don't. It wasn't adding like, up. Story. Anywho, so we, I was in class and I texted Gertrude. I was like, Yo, Gertrude. I told her what happened, and she's like, He has the nerve. And I was like, Yup, yeah, he does. So me and her are both in class. Addie was going to class. I was like, Nah, we gonna we gonna meet Arnold. You go, you go see Arnold. So I was like, Gertrude, you bored in class? And she was like, Yeah, I'm bored in class. I was bored as hell in class. I was bored in class. We left 20 minutes early. Because we, we was bored. But you know, we smart, so you know, we, we ain't missing nothing. Right. We, we, 
<laughs> you miss nothing. Hate hey, them books all the time. Yeah. Study them. Feels me. So we, I left class at two. What? O'clock on D dot. Yep. To go meet the Arnold. So we left. Mind you, that day cold, windy, windy, disrespectful. Rick. So we went to where Arnold class was at. So we went to that building and saw his girlfriend sitting outside of the, you know, the door. And. Me and Gert- Gertrude had to go to the bathroom to like, cause you know, like my eyes are very sensitive to the wind, and once the wind touches it, it yeah. I just be tearing. She was tearing up, and then we also had to like, you know, think of a game yeah, plan. Yeah, totally. we didn't want to just come out her, like you know, as if we want to fight or something. Yeah, like that. So, so um, we came up with the plan that you know, I feel like a bad person. <laughs> So we have, um, I was like, all right, you know, since I know her, I'm be like, oh, like, you know, what are you doing here? You know, a child, yeah. so she don't feel like we're attacking her, nothing like that. Yeah. So then, um, you know, I, I put this in my eyes, so we went. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, hey, like, you know, what's up? Are you here for spring break? She was just like, oh, um, yeah. And I was like, oh, so like, you know, what are you doing here? She's like, oh, I'm waiting for my friend. Friend. My friend. My friend. Continue. Like, you know, the whole plan was for her to say boyfriend and stuff and be like, oh, who are your mans? Yeah, but right. she was, she just called him her friend. So I was like, all right, right. you know, I, I ain't going to push any further because she's going to think that I want some information. Yeah. So I was like, all right. So, you know, I <clears> sat <throat> down next to said girlfriend and <laughs> I introduced myself. Like, I'm not going to be rude. Like, you don't know me. I don't know you. Like, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm not a new person. I'm not. So, Addie had came out of class. Addie's sister came out of class and we all sit on the bench waiting for Mr. Arnold. So when Mr. Arnold came out of class, you know, he was happy. He got a new fresh cut. His he was looking nice. Looking cute for his girlfriend. Uh-huh. And when he saw me, like his expert Yeah. <laughs> You and your girlfriend said girlfriend said girlfriend. So I, I was asking him like, oh, why'd you block me? Um, oh, like why'd you block my number? Why'd you block me on Instagram? Why'd you block me on Snapchat? What I do? I ain't doing anything. Um, what happened? What happened that day? He was like, oh no, I want to talk about this later. I was like, no, I want to talk about it now. And like I had a nice calm voice. I was talking like how I'm talking right now. So I was like, I'm not about to start screaming and make a scene. That's not okay. So. I was like, no, I want to know what happened. He was like, no, like, he was like, oh, you blocked me. I called you seven times. You didn't answer. I was like, obviously, because I blocked you. Because you had somebody in the back seat called me your girlfriend. And you didn't know that. You like, coming at me all kinds of crazy. So, obviously, I'm going to let the situation diffuse. And we're going to come back to it. That's how I rock. That's where I roll. So, he was just like, okay. So, he started doing that little smile thing he does. The non serious smile. The like, non boy, like, that's, like, being like I'm about to cut, like, I'm gonna get you, like, and whatever. Mm-hmm. So he was smiling at me and everything. Mind you, his girlfriend was next to us the whole time. Sis ain't seen nothing. Nothing. So we got on to, like, a certain theater at a school called University Ave. And I turned around and I looked at him and I was just like, oh, so you gotta talk to me later about it, right? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like, call you. I'm gonna call you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna text you. I cool, she walks away. Right? But his girlfriend stayed. And she was like, wait, wait, are you guys friends? Just like that. Just like that. She was, so, she was very quiet. And like I was just like, um, and yo to me, Arnold! Arnold! Are we just friends? Like I and he was like he started stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, a little more than that. And she's like, oh my god, Arnold, you're cheating on me. You're cheating. She's like, hitting him. She's like, you like this. You know what I'm saying? You like this. She's like this. And I'm like this. So, you know, she's got me. So, she's like, hitting him. Oh my god, you're cheating on me. You're cheating on me. Wait, did, were we looking at y'all? So, I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> People was moving. Bruh. So, I was, to be honest, I wanted to laugh because everything was just so funny. Sorry. Everything, like, this whole situation was so comical. Like, it was mm. too funny. And she was like, you need to go, y'all. Anyway, she was like, you was together for one whole year, you cheated on me. I was like, a year, Arnold? A year? <laughs> he was like, don't listen to her. 
Ghanaian. Like, listen, he has an accent. He's Ghanaian. Like, he has an accent. I just listen to her. It's pronounced Ghanaian. I'm sorry. Oh my god. You're right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, like, he was like, don't listen to her, don't listen to her. I was like, um, sis. So, like, I was, she was like, oh, can you tell me more? I want details. What should I do? I was like, oh, well, you want to lean on on beats and stuff. And I was like, Mystical things. Mystical. <laughs> Anyways. But we mostly hung out like a lot. So like whatever. So she was like, I was like, oh like, do you wanna come with me? So we were warm because it was too cold that day. And she's like, oh my god, no, give me that. And I was like, oh okay. No, you ain't just saying just okay. She was like, oh, oh yeah, do you wanna I said oh, do you want me to get to an Uber? A sis got money too, you feel me? No bro friends out here. And she was like, Ching. So you know, he was like, I'm leaving, I'm leaving you. So sister screaming at him. I was like, so I was like, alright, cool. I was walking back, I saw Eddie, Gertrude, this other boy come out of the woodworks. And I was like, yo, this shit. Stay scheming. Hey, this trying to get out of I was like, I don't know the birds, so he's like, turn on. But yeah, we, we was scheming. scheming. What's it called? Conklin. Okay, promptly. So it was in there, I was telling them what was happening, and the girl called me. The alleged girlfriend called me. Alleged. And she was like, oh my god, can you tell me what happened? Sis called me like five times trying to find out information. Like, son, I'm telling you what ha what happened. The, it's not going to change. Your, your alleged boyfriend is in the back screaming, hang up. Don't talk to her. I don't know why you're calling her. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. So I obviously he's guilty. Like you should just put two and two together. Yeah. Come like, on now. Come on, slow buddy. Like you should understand. And <laughs> anyway. But it's okay. You know she's naive. You, yeah, you, you can't believe her. Yeah, sad story. Sad, sad story. Anyway, so he called me too. Just yelling on the phone. Mind you, he was not even speaking English. <laughs> he was like, bro. Like, why would you do that? Mind you, as he's saying, he's stuttering the whole entire time. Wait, 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 Bye. And then, and then it, she, she asked him, Ro asked him, like, oh, so, um, the time that, you know, we were talking, did, did you have a girlfriend? He was like, and he kept on emphasizing, I have a girlfriend now. Yeah. So why, why did he say you have a girlfriend now, but then you guys went out for a year, like. So, that concludes the story. Why do boys do that? You have a girlfriend. And then my thing is, first of all, Thanks. <laughs> so um, after all of this happened, like Ro was like, you know, um, you know, we hung out, we did things, or whatever. So I'm thinking, like, maybe the girl she gonna be like, all right, I can't, I can't mess with you no more. This girl over here, John Reagan on him, like, and then, you do not hear what we, what, what she told you. After that, he hung out with the family, her fam, took a picture together with mm, his mom, cute couple indeed. Everything. I was like, okay, okay. So she obviously dumb, you feel me? Cause like, how do you hear all of this and then go right back to him? You're slow, you're a slow bunny, sis. A slow but bunny. honestly, like, you know, guys like that. You gotta leave them. No, not even and that. It's hard to they them. take control over their girls. And they're it's like, sad. it's just. To be honest, the whole situation was sad in her case. Cause she actually went back to him and she allowed it. Like she's just, she's allowed. Mind you, this isn't the cheating. first time that he's cheated on her. So why would you why would you go back to that situation? Doesn't make sense. Knowing you're gonna get hurt again. That really doesn't make sense. But she's so funny. So But guys, like what do you benefit from like you know playing your girl? Like I don't get it. You you hurt her at the end of the day. Then you then you have to sit there and explain to her why you did such and such. But then you and lie. Like you lie. You, you, you have no remorse. Like So guys where, where are your morals? You don't have they don't have me, I guess. Arnold Jordan, so. Like, y'all blow my mind, you feel me? Y'all blow my mind. Blow my mind. It's just 
sad. You feel me? It's sad. It's sad. But bring that together with me. <laughs> this don't normally come out. Like you don't do that. You feel me? You don't do that. You don't do that. I didn't. Even <laughs> you start crying. Son, I wanted to cry, bro, because that was not cool. No, but like it really wasn't cool because I was thinking about it for like two days. You like, like the girl is dumb. She's, she's dumb as hell. <laughs> you are dumb. She's a slow bunny. She's just a slow bunny. Like, <laughs> eye to eye. Like, you look, look, look at me. Look at me. I'm getting the frame. You know, zoom. You zoom are dumb. At the top. Wait, okay, okay. You okay, yeah. are mm -hmm. dumb. Yes. Bam. Bam. Basically, the moral of the story is: if you're in a, if you're a guy, you want a girl to be your girlfriend, don't cheat on her. If you're trying to cheat on her, leave. That's it. And if you want to cheat on her, be slick about it. <laughs> don't bring your girl to school knowing that every like everyone's gonna see you. Seriously. Are you dumb you're or dumb. are you stupid this or are you foolish? Campuses are small. You find out a lot of stuff. That people do this all the time. No, seriously. Especially if you go to a small campus, like you're like, not like low. Us. You're not low. You're not low. At all, so yeah. So just reevaluate your life next time before you before you make drastic decisions to mm -hmm. bring girlfriend to school. Yeah. And then don't cheat on your girl. Like mm -hmm. you obviously have somebody that you know giving you what you want, but you want to go find something else with somebody else. Like yeah, it don't add up. So anyways, that was our story. Hey. Oh, yeah, and I hope y'all slash Open your eyes. Thanks for watching.